the Arcturian Group. November 6, 2016, by Marilyn Raphael. Dear ones, in these times of chaos and confusion, many are beginning to experience a sense of hopelessness because they see no peace or signs of light, only violence and suffering. Let go of any concepts you may still hold regarding how energetic change must appear for you are indeed witnessing the actions of light as each bit of previously hidden information rises to the surface. The dark underbelly of world beliefs based in a ruthless quest for money and power are being exposed as the light of an evolving world consciousness shines into the shadowy corners. Be not discouraged, for the creations of old energy must seen for what they are, concepts, opinions, and false beliefs. It is imperative for those who accept without question everything said by those in positions of authority, to understand that much of what they have heretofore accepted as truth, is not. Many leaders have tried to fulfill the promises they made to the public but have been thwarted by rich and powerful forces working through fear, threats and demands in order to achieve some personal agenda. Other so-called leaders simply consider their position a means to personal power and control. These are the very corners the light is shining into. Dear citizens of the USA, meditate for election guidance. Let intuition be your guide as you take time to review every candidate no matter how insignificant is the, the post they seek. Do this before going into the voting booth so you are prepared when you get there. Choose the candidate that most closely resonates with truth, honesty, and love. Do not look to commercials and hype to give you this information for you will not find it there, it must come from within. Ask your higher self and guides to help you with discernment as you review the qualifications of each candidate. We wish to speak of peace, not third-dimensional concepts of peace but the higher sense of peace, which only manifests from a consciousness of oneness. Many are seeking to achieve peace with self, others, and nations but because they do it within a belief system based in duality and separation, they are only able to bring about a peace that reflects this, a peace capable of manifesting its opposite at any time. Mankind attempts to wear the medallion of duality with its good side facing out but at some point the medallion will flip because that is the nature of duality regardless of how much effort is put forth to keep the good side showing. The energy that formed much of the third dimensional belief system is dissolving, rendering many commonly accepted and long held beliefs, invalid. Society in general is quickly changing as more and more awaken. Old concepts of peace no longer resonate as they once did and are being re-evaluated especially as many young and very evolved souls come of age. Those who insist upon perpetuating the old and financially lucrative ways of pretend peace are beginning to find less and less support. Many have begun to realize that actions utilizing the lives of others as necessary for peace, have simply been power struggles based in personal quests for more power and possessions, land, people, power, oil, gold, etc. Peace between individuals as well, is often nothing more than an attempt to bend another's will to one's own in the belief that non-resistance from another is peace. True peace cannot be forced whether it be between nations or individuals. Peace is a natural expression of the realization of oneness, an attained state of consciousness that knows all living things to be individual but formed in and of the one. This does not mean that everyone must think the same way or never have an opinion for there is and always will be individuality. Each day more people including those in the military, are recognizing the futility of killing, maiming, and violence in the name of peace. A new and higher sense of peace is being born but it is accompanied by birth pangs of rebellion. This is what you are witnessing at this time. As the light of truth continues to expand within world consciousness, peace without arms and violence must manifest, for only true peace is the reality. Every awakened soul contributes world light through their holding to truth within regardless of what is appearing in the outer scene. The energies of truth must flow, and not be kept just for oneself. Just as fruit must be picked in order for more to come the next year, so must awareness and light flow outward making room for more to come. The times of permanently retreating to a cave for one's own experiences of light are finished. The key is, in the world, but not of it. There is a popular saying about what would happen if each person of many were to light a small candle, imagine the brilliance. Now imagine each truth that unfolds to you as being that small candle. 
violence, war, rebellions, and hatred would soon be depleted of the energy needed to sustain, maintain, and manifest them. Since true peace is eternally held in place by divine law it will eventually manifest, but can only do this when consensus consciousness provides the substance from which it is formed, energies of unconditional love and oneness. What you are witnessing in the world are pictures that reflect the energies of a world still living out from duality and separation. Always remember that pictures no matter how disturbing, have no law to sustain or maintain them, and are held in place only by belief and can thus be dissolved in a second of realization. Know that every terrorist is a divine being in spite of the fact that he or she may be many lifetimes from knowing that for themselves. Every realization of truth becomes your candle, adding light to world consciousness in spite of events taking place still requiring a degree of control and action. Today's message is to illuminate the difference between what society has come to accept as peace and methods necessary to attain it, versus true peace. Predictions that speak of the end of the world are obsolete and no longer relevant because mankind has shifted the energy. Predictions can only access the energy of the moment and have only the power mankind gives them. You are in charge, dear ones. You hold within yourselves the real power should you choose to acknowledge who and what you really are. Peace must come into expression not through arms and force, but as an activity of the still small voice within each heart flowing and nourishing a tired and hungry world. This is the work, and you are ready, dear light workers. We are the Arcturian Group November 6, 2016.